Former Kentucky Governor and U.S. Senator Wendell Ford died Thursday at his home in Owensboro. He was 90 years old. Ford's body lied in state in the Capitol Rotunda in Frankfort this afternoon as mourners came to celebrate the life and legacy of a leader many say was a champion of the common man. Good. Governor Steve Bashir opened the memorial service with a prayer, describing Wendell Ford as someone who spoke up for those who could not speak for themselves. He judged fairly, and he defended the rights of the poor and needy. He listened, he cared, and he brought people together. Wendell Hampton Ford served three years as Kentucky's governor before going on to become one of the Commonwealth's longest serving U.S. Senators. Tommy Preston, Ford's senior advisor during his time in the governor's mansion, delivered the eulogy. A politician who did keep his promises, who in his own words was determined to be a workhorse instead of a show horse. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, at least five Kentucky governors and numerous state and local officials attended the service. How often did he repeat, and I quote, the only reason for the existence of government is to serve people. Here truly then was and is one of God's finest designs. Describing him as a colossus among men, speakers said Ford embodied the ideals of fairness, justice, and selfless service. Wendell Ford's funeral will take place Tuesday in Owensboro.